Imagine a future where humanity's reach extends not just to nearby stars, but across entire galaxies. Picture vast fleets of starships traversing the cosmic void, countless worlds teeming with human life, and technology so advanced they seem like magic to us today. This isn't just the stuff of science fiction. It's a potential future that has captivated scientists, futurists, and dreamers alike. Welcome to All Sci-Fi. Today, we're exploring the fascinating concept of interstellar empires. What would it take for humanity to build a civilization spanning thousands of light years? How might such an empire function, and what challenges would it face? These are the questions we'll grapple with in today's episode. We'll examine the science, speculate on future technologies, and consider the profound implications of becoming truly cosmic species. Whether you're a sci-fi enthusiast, a student of science and technology, or simply curious about humanity's potential future among the stars, this episode promises to take you on a journey to the edges of our imagination and perhaps to the future of our species. So buckle up and let's blast off into a realm of interstellar empires. The idea of vast empires among the stars have been a staple of science fiction for nearly a century. From Isaac Asimov's Galactic Empire in the Foundation series to the United Federation of Planets in Star Trek, these fictional realms have fired our imaginations and inspired generations of scientists and engineers. But the concept of interstellar empires isn't just fiction. It has roots in serious scientific speculation. In 1964, Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev proposed what is now known as the Kardashev Scale. This scale classifies hypothetical extraterrestrial civilizations based on their energy consumption and technological advancement. A type 1 civilization on this scale can harness all the energy of its home planet. A type 2 can utilize all the energy of its star system. But it's the type 3 civilizations that truly capture the essence of an interstellar empire, a civilization capable of harnessing the energy of an entire galaxy. While this might seem like pure fantasy, consider how far we've come in just the past century. We've gone from the first powered flight to landing on the moon in just 66 years. We've sent robotic explorers to every planet in our solar system. We've detected thousands of exoplanets around other stars. Each of these achievements would have seemed like science fiction to our ancestors. So who's to say what might not be possible in another century or millennium? Before we dive deeper into the realm of interstellar empires, let's define some key concepts that will form the foundation of our discussion. This is the ability to journey between star systems. Currently, our fastest spacecraft would take tens of thousands of years to reach even the nearest stars. Any interstellar empire would need to dramatically reduce this travel time. These are hypothetical propulsion methods that would allow spacecraft to exceed the speed of light. While thought to be impossible, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, some proposed methods like the Alcubierre warp drive offers potential loopholes. This is the process of establishing permanent settlements on other worlds. An interstellar empire would likely involve the colonization of thousands or millions of planets, moons, and even artificial habitats. This refers to the hypothetical process of modifying a planet's environment to make it more Earth-like and habitable for humans. This could potentially allow us to turn inhospitable worlds into new homes for humanity. These are the hypothetical artificial constructs of enormous scale, such as Dyson spheres, structures that completely encompass a star to capture all of its energy, or ring worlds, massive ring-shaped habitats encircling a star. This is an economic system in which most goods can be produced in great abundance with minimal human labor. With these concepts in mind, let's explore how humanity might go about building an interstellar empire and what such an empire might look like. Let's consider three potential paths to interstellar empires, each with its own unique challenges and implications. 
In this scenario, humanity gradually expands outwards using sublight propulsion technologies. These might include nuclear pulse propulsion, antimatter rockets, or even exotic concepts like laser pushed light sails. The method of expansion would be excruciatingly slow by our standards. Even reaching the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, it would take decades. Establishing a true interstellar civilization this way could take thousands or even millions of years. However, this slow expansion has some advantages. It allows time for terraforming and infrastructure development. Each new star system could be fully settled before moving on to the next. This could result in a more stable and sustainable expansion. The challenges here are significant. Generation ships might be necessary. Massive spacecraft designed to support multiple generations of humans on centuries-long voyages. We'd need to develop extremely robust and long-lasting technologies. And we'd have to grapple with the psychological and sociological challenges of such long-term isolation. In this scenario, humanity discovers or creates a network of traversable wormholes. These hypothetical tunnels through space-time would allow near instantaneous travel between distant points in space. A wormhole network could lead to rapid expansion and the formation of a loosely connected empire of far-flung colonies. Imagine stepping through a portal on Earth and emerging light years away on another world. This method of expansion could result in a unique type of empire. With instant travel between any two points, the concept of distance becomes almost meaningless. You could have breakfast on Earth, lunch on the planet orbiting Betelgeuse, and dinner in the Andromeda Galaxy. The challenges here are largely theoretical and engineering based. We don't know if traversable wormholes are possible, let alone how to create them. Keeping them stable might require exotic forms of matter with negative energy density. And if they're possible, there are concerns about their potential for use as time machines which could create paradoxes. In this scenario, humanity develops true faster than light travel. This might involve something like the Alcubierre warp drive, which theoretically allows FTL travel by warping space itself around a ship. FTL travel would enable the quick establishment of a more centralized galactic government. Ships could zip between star systems in days or weeks rather than years or centuries. This scenario most closely resembles the interstellar empires we see in much of science fiction. It would allow for regular communication and trade between even distant colonies. A true galactic civilization could arise with all the complexity and richness that implies. The main challenge here is that FTL travel may simply be impossible. It seems to violate our current understanding of physics. Even if it's possible, the energy requirements might be astronomical. And there are potential issues with causality. If you can travel faster than light, you might in principle be able to travel backwards in time, leading to all sorts of paradoxes. Regardless of which path we might take to the stars, building an interstellar empire would require incredible technological advancements. Let's explore some of the key technologies we'd need to develop. Whether it's antimatter engines, fusion drives, or theoretical concepts like the Alcubierre drive, we need propulsion systems far beyond our current capabilities. These would need to be capable of accelerating ships to significant fractions of light speed, if not beyond it. For long interstellar voyages, we'd need life support systems capable of sustaining human life for decades or even centuries. These would need to be incredibly robust, efficient, and self-sustaining. Think of it as creating a miniature mobile biosphere. Long-term exposure to microgravity causes significant health issues including bone density loss and muscle atrophy. To prevent this, we need to develop reliable artificial gravity systems for our starship and space habitats. The sheer scale of an interstellar civilization would likely require extensive use of artificial intelligence and robotics. These could assist with everything from ship maintenance and navigation to planetary exploration and colonization. 
the ability to modify entire planets to suit human habitation would be a game changer for interstellar colonization. This might involve techniques like introducing greenhouse gases to warm cold planets or genetically engineered organisms to reduce breathable atmospheres. Even if FTL proves impossible, FTL communication might be achievable through quantum entanglement. This could be crucial for maintaining cohesion across the vast distances of an interstellar empire. The energy requirements for interstellar travel and colonization would be staggering. We might need to develop Dyson spheres to capture the entire energy output of stars, or trap it into exotic energy sources like zero-point energy or microscopic black holes. Advanced nanotechnology could be crucial for everything from ship repair to planetary terraforming. Swarms of nanobots could potentially transform entire worlds, building infrastructure atom by atom. For long voyages, we might need to develop reliable suspended animation techniques to let travelers sleep through centuries-long journeys. Alternatively, if we can digitize human consciousness, we might send our minds to the stars at the speed of light and download them into new bodies at the destination. Building and maintaining an interstellar empire would face numerous obstacles, some obvious, others more subtle. Even with FTL capabilities, the sheer scale of interstellar distances pose huge challenges. Coordinating an empire across thousands of light years would be a logistical nightmare. At relativistic speeds, time dilation becomes a significant factor. A round trip to a nearby star at 99% light speed might take 10 years from the traveler's perspective, but 100 years would have passed on Earth. This could lead to severe social and cultural disconnects. Over time, distant colonies might develop their own unique cultures, potentially leading to conflicts or desires for independence. Maintaining a cohesive interstellar culture could be one of the Empire's greatest challenges. Coordinating across light years of space would be incredibly complex. Some star systems might have abundant resources, while others might be resource poor. Balancing these needs across an empire would be a monumental task. We might not be alone in the galaxy. Other civilizations could pose threats or compete for resources. How would an interstellar empire handle diplomacy or warfare on a galactic scale? As we sweep across the stars, we'd inevitably encounter alien life, even if it's just microbial. How would we handle potentially displacing or affecting this life? What if we encounter intelligent, but less technologically advanced species? How do you govern a civilization spread across millions of worlds? Democratic processes that work on planetary scale might break down entirely at the galactic level. New forms of government might need to be invented. The fact we haven't detected any signs of alien civilization raises uncomfortable questions. Are we truly alone? Or is it some great filter that prevents civilizations from reaching interstellar status? As we expand, we might discover the answer, and it might be unsettling. As we've explored today, the concept of interstellar empires pushes the boundaries of our scientific understanding, technological capabilities, and even our imagination. While the challenges are immense, the potential rewards, the exploration, the settlement of countless new worlds, the advancement of our species, and the deepening of our understanding of the universe are quite vast. Building such an empire would require monumental advancements in propulsion, life support, energy production, and communication technologies. It would test not just our scientific and engineering prowess, but also our ability to organize and govern on a truly cosmic scale. We've discussed several potential paths to the stars, the slow generational ships, the wormhole network, and the development of faster than light travel. Each of these paths present its own unique challenges and opportunities. Perhaps our future lies down one of these roads, or perhaps it's a path we haven't even conceived of yet. 
As we stand here in the early 21st century, an interstellar civilization might seem like an impossible dream. But remember, just over a century ago, powered flight was an impossible dream. Space travel was an impossible dream. And yet, here we are, with aircraft crisscrossing our skies and robots exploring Mars. Who knows what might be possible in another century or millennium. Perhaps our descendants will look back in time, marveling at how we ever doubted that humanity's destiny lay among the stars. But as we contemplate this grand future, we must also consider the ethical implications. As we spread across the galaxy, what kind of civilization do we want to be? Will we be conquerors, reshape worlds to our will, regardless of the consequences? Or would we be caretakers, spreading life and consciousness while respecting the wonders we find. What do you think? Could humanity one day rule the stars? What unforeseen challenges might arise as we spread across the galaxy? And perhaps, most importantly, should we aspire to build such an empire? Or would a looser federation of independent worlds be a better path forward? The answer to these questions may shape the long-term future of our species. Until next time, keep looking up and imagining the possibilities that await us among the stars. If you enjoyed this exploration of interstellar empires, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.